Greetings friends on our V Studio Cinema channel. I'm going to tell you about a German comedy called My Damn Good Friend. Warning, there are spoilers ahead. I wish you an enjoyable viewing experience. Welcome to Hell, which is located in one of the high-rise buildings in Germany, where the devil himself reigns with the appearance of an ordinary man. Work is well underway in the building of Hell. Lilith, the daughter of the devil, is not wanted to be allowed to visit people, and she does not want to learn how to bring people down from virtue through sins and binds her teacher so that he does not interfere with her correspondence on the computer. But the father devil is worried about his daughter's studies, so he asks her questions to test her knowledge. For example, telling you what envy is. Lilith shows off a beautiful and expensive dress, and when her girlfriends see her in one, they are sure to envy her. They'll want one, but since they won't have the money for it, it will encourage them to steal it. The father is pleased with his daughter, but warns that no magic of any kind should be used in public. Lilith asks to be with humans because she's bored sitting in hell. But dad's against it. In his opinion, Lilith is still too young for the devil's work. Let her wait for her 18th birthday. That evening, Lilith suggests that her father send her to the humans for a year to be tested. The father agrees, but sets his own conditions. He is the one who will choose the place and person where he will send her. And not for a year, but for a week. If he can do it, he'll stay with the people. If not, he'll sit in the basement with his teacher and cram for eternity. Lilith agrees. Lilith and her father travel to a small town called Birkenbro. The father found a family for his daughter that was intentionally too nice. As they ride in the car, they go over the story of Lilith's arrival one more time. She came to see the school because her parents were moving. Also, there should be no touching, no pity, just equanimity. Father gives Lilith a special indicator balloon that shows the temperature of her feelings. It should always be black in color. Lilith gets to know the family members. Mom Sybil Bernstein really enjoys knitting, cooking vegetables and cuddling. Papa Gabriel Bernstein and the main object Lilith is banking on, Greta Bernstein, sings in the choir, enjoys reading and doing housework. Lilith sees how disgustingly cute they all are. Everyone sits down at the table to eat the roasted vegetables that Greta's father has grown, and in passing they discuss how her father talks to the vegetables to make them grow better. Everyone is full and it's time to clear the table. Greta picks up the plates, but Lilith offers her help, and purposely throws the plates on the floor. Greta is puzzled. All the more reason for Greta's mom and dad to comfort her by telling her that broken plates are for good luck. Lilith and Greta went up to the attic to their bedroom, and Lilith started asking questions about how Greta was doing with drugs, alcohol, lying, and girlfriends. And then I just looked over to check her clothes closet, and I saw one of the walls in hearts, taped off with some guy's pictures. Lilith discovers that Greta is very model and proper, and Lilith doesn't understand what to latch onto in order to make Greta angry and motivate her to do bad things. Lilith and Greta walk to the school bus to go to school. On the bus, Greta greets the cool girls in class, Daria and Melody, Gretti, and glues gum on her hair. Then Lilith snatches the perfume from Melody's hands, takes it into her mouth, and sprays it through the flame of the lighter onto Eddie's hair. The one sits down on the seat in bewilderment, taking a hat from his friend to hide his scorched hair. All the other guys are just in shock. The bus pulls up to the school and the boys see all the students piled up at the entrance. It turns out their classmate, Samuel, is sitting on the roof, smoking a cigarette and in no hurry. When the principal asks him to come down immediately, he replies that he hasn't finished his cigarette yet, but then he descends from the roof of the school like a parkourist, while everyone else goes to class. In class, the teacher hands out quizzes to everyone for the quiz. Samuel makes an origami figure out of this piece of paper and leaves the classroom, saying that all this studying is not for him. Meanwhile, Lilith pulls out a clipboard to write down the answers. It's getting close to submission time, and Greta notices that Lilith has written off the wrong version. Abruptly, he rips the sheet out and shoves it in his mouth. Lilith is confused, and Greta says she saved her. Greta and Lilith see a guy on the street, and the devilist remembers the closet pics. This is a guy who really likes Greta. His name is Carlo. He's a real high school heartthrob who moonlights as a DJ. Lilith approaches him asking him to seduce Greta, for which she will pay him well. Asks him to pretend to love her and then dump her after three days. Carlo walks up to Greta and strikes up a conversation. Meanwhile, Lilith meets Samuel in an alley and asks for a smoke. Eddie shows up with his buddies. Claims that Samuel stole his watch from him and tells his underlings to search him. Samuel is very skillful at jumping onto the roof of one of the low houses, and the guys can't get him. Lilith laughs out loud watching all of this. When Eddie commands them to grab her, Lilith rips out a road sign with her devilish strength and gives the guys a hard time. The fighters are shocked and quickly run away. The men who were at a sidewalk cafe nearby are laughing at the whole situation. To one of them, Samuel gives the watch he stole from Eddie just to piss him off. Samuel invites Lilith over for a bite to eat and while eating delicious sausages, tells her that he is going to go to Berlin. And he already has a ticket. Lilith shares that she has never seen the sea. Then Samuel suggests looking out to sea from the church chapel because it offers a magical view, but agrees anyway. They enter the chapel and Lilith becomes uneasy. She makes a quick run through and goes upstairs. It really is a very beautiful view of the sea up there. And under the euphoria of the beautiful sight, Samuel kisses Lilith. She pushes him away and urgently flees from the chapel. Running home, Lilith is thrown back and forth between hot and cold. She pulls out her balloon and sees that it is turning red. At this time, her father calls her to see how her first day went. In the background, Lilith hears that one of the employees who works for her father is falling in love. And he gets fired immediately because demons in love are no good for anything. She learns for the first time that demons can fall in love. Lilith shares with Greta that she was out with Samuel, and Greta tells me that Carlo asked her out on a date. A quiet, cozy evening. 
Mom knits. Greta plays with her younger sisters. Dad reads. Mom offers to teach Lilith how to knit, but she only giggles derisively in response. Mom says she and Greta are having a mother-daughter knitting night tomorrow. But then Lilith blurts out that Greta has a date. Her parents are very happy for her and inundate her with all sorts of advice. Greta runs off to her room. Lilith follows her and tells her that she needs to prepare for the date. Gives her makeup, does her hair and puts on a beautiful dress. Greta looks cool, but realizes her mom won't let her go to school looking like that. At that moment, a pebble flies into the window of their room. That's Samuel up on the roof waiting for Lilith. Lilith climbs onto the roof. He and Samuel talk about the kiss. Samuel apologizes for him. Lilith gets angry and heads home. Samuel yells after her that she's so cute when she's angry and knows she likes him. Lilith checks her feeling stone, it is also red in color. Greta is going to wear a beautiful dress to school. Mom notices and won't let her in those clothes. The girls have nothing to do but wear a modest dress, which, by the way, is knitted by the mother herself. The girls walk to the stop for the school bus. They talk, at which time Eddie runs up to Lilith from behind and tries to set her hair on fire with a can and a lighter. Lilith takes a swing at that, and Eddie takes an elbow right on the nose. The girls get on the bus and talk about fashion. Greta is very curious about what it's like to be the most fashionable. Lilith declares that it's cool. Everyone looks at you and wants to be friends with you. Greta blurs into a smile, imagining the feeling. Lilith says she will help her experience him. They get off the bus, and Lilith tells Greta loudly at the display to ask her mom for another dress, or she won't give it to the famous singer. Daria and Melody hear this, and cut into the conversation. Lilith informs them that the designer dresses from Greta's mother were a real eye-opener at New York Fashion Week. The friends are walking through the school and Lilith asks Greta to pose for a photo. Greta stands like a wooden one and the photo doesn't turn out well. But then Carla walks by, compliments her, and Greta perks up, beginning to pose enthusiastically. At this time, Samuel approaches Lilith to ask her out. But Lilith makes up that she's very busy. Lilith photoshops an article about Greta's mom on Fashion Week. She shows it to Daria and Melody, and says that all the world stars were at the show and snatched up all the dresses, but Lilith can ask Greta to get at least one dress. And then Daria and Melody start arguing amongst themselves over who gets the coveted fancy dress. The fire alarm goes off in the school and everyone runs outside. Samuel did this to see Lilith, and to call her to go to the sea. Lilith agrees. Lilith rides her bike, because she hasn't done it before, to Samuel's house. And together they go to the sea. Arriving at the beach, Lilith sees the sea and can't resist running into the knee-deep water. While lying on the beach with Samuel, Lilith gets a message on her phone from her father, asking if she's done a lot of evil deeds. Samuel thinks Lilith is in some kind of trouble, and she tells him about how her father is very powerful, keeps her in a tower all the time, and she only has a week to be with people. To which Samuel says if his father locks Lilith in the tower again, he'll be sure to free her. Then they kiss. Meanwhile, Daria and Melody are practicing songs for the school's annual holiday party. Carla is in charge of the music. Greta comes to the rehearsal and decides to give her advice to the girls to cascade instead of singing in unison. Carla finds out that Greta sings in the choir. He suggests she join the girls and sing together. The girls sing in threes, and they do a great job. Their class teacher walks in and tells them that the principal is against the trio's performance because he saw a clip of them in short skirts. And that can be a bad example for the younger grades. The girls get very upset. Lilith and Samuel return from the beach. Samuel suggests eating ice cream. And while he buys it, Lilith sees everyone around him smiling sweetly, hugging and kissing. She is afraid that she is starting to fall in love and quickly runs away. Runs behind some van to smoke a cigarette. That's when Greta's father meets her. Lilith tells him that she really wants to go to their house. They get in the van and drive off. On the way to the house they see Greta and Carla talking and want to kiss. But at that moment, their father pulls up in his van and offers Greta a ride home. Greta, upset, sits down, and her father realizes that he has ruined her first kiss. The girls are at home talking in their room. Greta is very upset that her date with Carlo has fallen through and suspects that Carla is just toying with her. Lilith is becoming pathetic to her. She regrets bribing Carl. Greta sees Lilith's orb and asks what it is. Ta replies that it's just a kind of thermometer her father gave her. Greta calls Lilith for some fresh air and to help pick radishes at the same time. But she refuses to help and just sits there. Lilith tells Greta about the argument with her father, that they don't plan to stay in Birkenborough, and that Lilith will need to return to her home as early as Saturday. And to stay here, she has to do a lot of evil deeds. Lilith has grown to love this place, and Greta doesn't want Lilith to leave either. At school, Carlo once again rushes to kiss Greta, but this time he is pushed away by Lilith and told that their deal is off. Carlo replies that he likes Greta as it is, no deal. Carlo tells Greta all about the deal. Greta is shocked and sends Lilith to hell. Lilith can't answer anything except that she should just be angry. Lilith receives a message from Samuel that he is waiting for her on the beach. She goes to him. On the beach, Samuel tells Lilith that he is willing to stay for her, and stuffs his ticket into a bottle and throws it into the sea. But Lilith replies that their acquaintance and time spent with him was the worst thing she's ever had in her life, and walks away. Samuel is puzzled. Lilith enters the school bus and approaches Greta, but she turns away from her. Then Lilith immediately tells him that she left Samuel because he made her unable to be evil, that she fell in love and her orb turned red instead of black. Greta realizes that Lilith doesn't want to be evil, but doesn't acknowledge it in any way. Despite this, Greta offers to help her. The school's annual holiday party has begun. Lilith's father arrives at the school to check on his daughter and sits down in the auditorium to watch the concert. Lilith sees him and sits down next to him. In the meantime, Melody and Greta are sprinkling itchy powder on their clothes, which will feature a quartet replacing them. 
The headmaster takes the stage and talks about his journey to Africa. The girls had changed the photos at his presentation beforehand, and everyone in the audience laughed at the nude photos of him with monkeys, and how he urinated next to an elephant. The director urgently finishes his presentation and invites a quartet to the stage, led by his son Eddie. But the quartet's performance also failed, the itching powder doing its thing, they started itching and ran off the stage. And so it was that the girls Greta, Melody and Daria's finest hour had arrived. They with colorful makeup, hairstyles and wearing short dresses from Greta's mom perform on stage with their song, the whole audience is excited. Lilith's father can't believe his eyes that his daughter has done well and congratulates her on being promoted to a level 1 officer. But before he does, he asks her to show her balloon. Lilith realizes that everything is about to fail, but the balloon turns out to be black. The devil asks what city, Lilith wants to work in, she replies that she wants to stay here, her father approves of the choice and leaves. Greta runs up to Lilith asking how it went. Lilith replies that she's staying, they hug, but she wonders what the chaos was at the concert. And Greta admits that she made the whole thing up. I mean, what you wouldn't do for a friend. Lilith shows her black balloon, Greta says she just painted over it with nail polish. Greta returns to the concert hall, where her parents are slightly shocked at her new look. She runs on stage to Carlo and they finally kiss. Lilith needs to find Samuel immediately. The men at the sidewalk cafe say he went to Berlin. Lilith rushes to the train station and meets Samuel there. She confesses her love, he reciprocates, and they kiss. Friends, you have no idea how hard it was to find this movie, even in any acceptable quality. I hope you enjoyed the retelling and rate it with a like. Write what movies you'd like to see on the channel, and click on these pictures to see other retellings. And I hugged everyone, see you soon.